Well, Kansas City police are asking for the public's help tonight in locating a murder victim's SUV. 30-year-old Nick Dutcher was found dead inside his Ruskin Heights home Tuesday afternoon. His car is missing. Nick owned a gray 2009 Ford Escape. The Missouri license plate is WA4D5R. If you've seen the vehicle, please call the tips hotline. Well, this is a story that hits especially close to us here at NBC Action News because Nick was a member of our family here. He had such a sweet and loving personality every day. His main thing he wanted was a smile. It wasn't his passion, I think, is the, is the thing so many are going to miss. The passion for work, but his passion for his music as well and the shows that he loved and he loved to share with all of us. Marissa Cleaver shares more about the Nick Dutcher that we all admired. Nick worked for a year here on our assignment desk. This is where every day he greeted me with a smile and asked that I return the favor. He was an important member of our news team and a valued member of the community. 30-year-old Nick Dutcher was a fun guy. The proof is in this picture. If he liked something, he loved it. That was especially true of his dogs. The last dog that he got is a, um, the product of a news story that was on uh, one Friday night, and he called me and said, I'm going to get this abused dog from the shelter. Marilyn Ricci got to know Nick when he started volunteering for Call for Action eight years ago. Someone that you can call up at any time of the day and say, you know, I need this, I need that. He always, um, when he came over for whatever occasion, brought a little gift. Nick worked in the news business for several years. He made many friends during that time who are now paying tribute to him on Facebook. One of our viewers wrote to us about how wonderful he was to deal with on the phone. Nick also had a passion for weather. This is video of one of his storm chasing adventures. He met our chief meteorologist Gary Lezak when he was 12. He had a certain confidence, a certain, certain interesting nature about him that was just special. His goal was to be the first to warn of severe weather. He was actually a, a big addition to our whole news team and our weather team here at NBC Action News. And he, he knew weather, he loved weather. Nick was also very involved in his Ruskin Heights neighborhood. That's where he got to know Shirley Dobbins. I think Nick was just a really fine young man. He was a devoted son. And if you knew Nick, you knew he loved Celine Dion. If someone's a bright light in your life, I think it's harder to come up. Nick, we hope you are somewhere singing along.